Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present tonight's Ally Leadership Award to Lori Hazenkamp and Mike Lurie. Thank you so much to Equality California for this honor, and congratulations to all of tonight's other very deserving honorees. Conrad, you were just wonderful. It's a privilege to share the stage with the other honorees. I want to thank our family and friends who are here tonight uh, for supporting us over the years, and many of you are here. Thank you also to the staff and board members from many LGBT and other HIV organizations near and dear to us, again, many of whom have made the effort to be here tonight. Our gratitude goes out to Lambda Legal, the SARA Project, which is now part of the Alliance for Housing and Healing, the Children Affected by AIDS Foundation, and the Williams Institute, to name a few of the organizations that we have spent time and effort and support to. All of you have given us a home and a platform to provide energy and financial support to this community that we hold so dear. We want to thank all of you out there for you are here to support Equality California and its incredible, important work. But my biggest thank you goes to my dear wife, Lori Hazenkamp. Laurie has devoted more than 15 years to these organizations. She has worked endlessly as a volunteer, as a senior staff person, time and again. And the concept of retirement isn't stopping Laurie anytime soon. So let's be real. To me, all of us are here to thank Laurie for her efforts to support Equality California and this great community. And if I can go off teleprompter just for a moment, there's a saying that a powerful, like, a powerful woman needs a man behind her like a fish needs a bicycle. <laughs> and I want you all to know from the bottom of my heart, I am delighted to be Lori Hazenkamp's bicycle. Well, I echo Mike's thanks to all of you, including my family who is here tonight. My parents are here. They missed their favorite party of the year, the Royal Canyon Property Owners Association, to be here. <laughs> my niece, Jill, is here, and two of my granddaughters who marched with me in the parade. You saw them in the video. And Mike, thank you so much for working together with me all these years. <laughs> and truly, the biggest thank you goes to Rick Zabur for our friendship of 30 years for getting us started as LGBT activists, and for stepping up to become the Executive Director of Equality California. So Rick became the first openly gay lawyer at Latham & Watkins in the early 1990s, and he set about making it safe for all LGBT lawyers and staff there to be open. He also made sure that Latham supported LGBT and HIV nonprofits, and he served on several boards. And he sold me my first ticket to an LGBT fundraiser in 1995. And when he ran for Congress in 1996 as a pioneering openly gay candidate, we supported him in his, in his campaign without hesitation. When Mike and I became LGBT activists more than 15 years ago, and a hat tip here to Dave Kettle, my personal inspiration, naturally, Rick was the first person we called. He got us started by setting up a meeting with Lambda Legal and inviting me to join the board of directors of the Children Affected by AIDS Foundation. Now, I found Brad Sears myself, <laughs> and, uh, I, and as, as well as the Sarah Project. Um, then after that, we were privileged to work with the boards and the wonderful staff of all the organizations Mike mentioned, uh, as well as my alma mater, USC Law School. I took a little bit of time <laughs> away from the LGBT world. <laughs> Okay, so that includes uh, my stint with, as Interim Executive Director of Equality California five years ago when Carrie Davidson called me to ask for my help and I was happy to help. Uh, and, and one of the reasons we do this, uh, and I'll go off uh, teleprompter for a second, is, is so that people like Conrad do not have stories like Conrad has. What an amazing story and thank you for sharing that with us. So three years ago, Rick brought his genius, vision, energy, and caring to Equality California 
as the new executive director. And Rick has more energy than any person we know. If you've ever talked to him, you know he sort of has to work off the excess energy by pacing a little bit like that. <laughs> um, he couldn't do it alone, of course. He is supported by amazing staff, board members, coalition partners, and elected officials. I'm humbled to work shoulder to shoulder with all of them, with special thanks to e Equality California's Deputy Director, Tony Huang, for his many years of sacrifice and service. He really stuck with us, uh, even during the hard times. So th again, thank to all of you for being here and supporting Equality California. This award means so much to us. Thank you again, and good evening.